Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a YouTube logo in Photoshop again but this time I'm going to do it for more advanced Photoshop users or people that are just trying to get a bit more advanced and in depth it'll look a bit more professional than the YouTube logo that we made before so open up Photoshop, go to File, New and then change the width and height to 500 pixels by 400 pixels and click OK. Then the first thing you're going to want to do is you're not going to want to go to here and select the rounded rectangle tool. Make yourself a rectangle. And there we go. Move it into position. There. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is come into this again but then go onto the ellipse tool and now you're going to just make a, along the top of here, you're just going to make a little oval like that then you're just going to use the arrow keys and bring it down but first select the selection tool and then use the arrows and move it into position ok then you're going to want to come over to the layers right click, duplicate layer just click OK and then using the arrow keys again just move it down hold shift and the down arrow and it'll move faster and then just position that OK now come back into the ellipse tool and make another oval on the left hand side go to the selection tool and move that into position This just gives it a nice rounded edge. And then duplicate this layer too. Use the shift and arrows to move it across. And then just position it. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is hold command if you're on Mac or control on a computer. And then click each of the shapes, go down, and select the square as well then right click and merge layers that makes it all into one shape so then we can move that all around as one ok now you're going to want to go into the shape double click it this will open this box now you're going to want to put a gradient overlay on click on that go into it and you want the left one at the bottom you want to make that into completely red and then the one on the bottom on the right you want to make it into a quite a light pink colour there that'll do ok click ok on that and then you want to change the angle here to about 65 now come back into here and click somewhere in the middle at the bottom to add a stop make that darker than the pink but lighter than the red and then move that up that'll just give like a shine in the top right hand side of your shape move up a bit more there we go just gives a bit of light so click OK on that and OK on that now we're going to want to go and write the text so we'll go to the text tool write you with a capital Y and then back into the text tool and write tube I'm going to do the tube first so move it into the square then use command T or control T depending on what computer you're using but make sure you're on the selection tool when you do that command T and then move these little boxes so it's in line with the shape that you've made underneath. Now when you go to the right you want to go all the way to the right so it's in line and then bring it in one just to where it stops and then on the left hand side as well there we go click on the selection tool and click apply then do the same thing for the U so come and select the U on the layers and then move that and over there 
Press Command T or Control T. 